Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. So this past weekend, they had the Taylor Hawkins benefit concert over in England. All these friends of Taylor's got up on stage and played. And there were some amazing performances. One of them in particular, I was thinking about talking about, and then I got an email this morning and I'm gonna read it to you. And the email was titled, Was Wolfie a Little Too Perfect? Rick, if you had a chance to see the video of the Taylor Hawkins tribute. It was pretty amazing. And as a huge EVH fan, seeing Wolfie play there was pretty cool. There's no shortage of players on YouTube that are happy to show off their Eddie licks, but I can't recall one that had the exact same sound. Watching Wolfie and specifically the solo for Hover Teacher, that sounded so good, but yet too good? Would it be possible for you to line up the guitar solos from the album and the concert? Love your channel and all your content. Okay. <laughs> Wolfgang Van Halen started playing in Van Halen in 2006 when he was 15. He's a multi-instrumentalist. He plays every instrument incredibly well. If you listen to his new record, his, his project Mammoth WVH, where he played everything and sang, it's a great record. He's known for being able to play everything. He's played Hot for Teacher probably hundreds of times in Van Halen, okay? Did you notice that his vocals were exactly dead on? Well, maybe it's because he sang the background vocals with Eddie when he was replacing Michael Anthony. I mean, this is, you know, he was in Van Halen. He played Hot for Teacher on bass with his uncle, Alex, many, many times. The thing about it is that people are not used to seeing him play these leads like that. Well, if you go back on YouTube and look around or on Instagram, you can find him playing an eruption. There's a short clip of it. Here it is. Now, he's playing it, and it sounds like his dad, right? Well, of course it sounds like his dad. He played guitar with his dad all the time. And there's something interesting about this that is unquantifiable about Eddie Van Halen's style, and it's his time feel. And I think this is what the guy that wrote to me, why he can't believe it sounds so much like Van Halen, especially the lead playing. It's Eddie's time feel. Well, Wolfgang has this. There's this whole nature versus nurture issue that I, when I started my channel, I made some videos about this. The nature part is it genetically, do people have genetic abilities in music, for example, that make them natural players? Well, yes, time feel is one thing. You can improve your time feel, but some people just have great time. No question about it. Some people have great natural dexterity and have chops without having to do a lot. They can just play things that other people can't play, or they have unusually large stretches, Paul Gilbert, Alan Holdsworth, whoever, they have huge hands, they're easy for them to get around on. Those are genetic things. But instruments don't play themselves. There's just nothing you can do. You can't take a pill, you can't just be naturally gifted at something and automatically play it. It takes coordination, it takes many years of playing. I mean, some people can learn really quickly, and Wolfgang is probably one of those guys that can learn, that did learn really quickly. He started on the drums. His uncle gave him a few little lessons and everything, but he's pretty much self-taught. And I'm sure his dad showed him things too, but he played in the band and he was pro enough to play in the band when he was 15. And he's a fantastic player. Not only that, I've gotten a chance to meet Wolfgang and talk to him uh, one time back in 2020. And he's the nicest guy in the world. On top of being this incredibly great musician from this family dynasty. He's a super great person. Let's take a listen to what we're talking about here, to his performance on Hot for Teacher. Okay, so this is Josh Free playing the drums on here. Killing it, too. Justin Hawkins is singing. I think it's Dave Grohl on bass.
has such great natural feel when he goes into the dun, 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 dun. it sounds just like his dad well that's the that's the thing that you just can't learn that's the part of it that's the nature part that's the g genetic part of it which is why he can nail that let's listen on hey you guys Okay, that's Justin Hawkins there talking. He has a YouTube channel, Justin Hawkins Rides Again. And he gave me a shout out last week or so about talking with him on his channel. Justin, if you hear this, let's do it, man. Yeah. We're killing it. Okay, this is a similar thing with Dave Grohl, right? Dave Grohl is a phenomenal rhythm player because he's a great drummer. This is the thing. I just did a video on Phil Collins. These guys that are drummers that go and play other instruments, they have great time if they're great drummers. It's, it's no problem keeping the groove like that. Let's go to the solo next. I think that's kind of what freaked this guy out that wrote to me. He couldn't believe how much it sounded like Eddie. Wolfgang, fantastic. I'm really, that was that was really amazing. That blew me away. That was one of the most fun parts of the whole tribute concert. Uh, I just wanted to say something about Taylor Hawkins. I never did a video after Taylor's passing. He passed at night. And I didn't know what to talk about with, with the video. I'm really glad that these, these concerts have happened. I had mentioned in one of my episodes that the only person that I met from the Foo Fighters was Taylor Hawkins for 10 seconds. I went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony last uh, in Cleveland. I did a live stream about it, but I never really made a video about it. But before the show, Taylor and Dave came out and talked to people that were hanging out in the front part of the auditorium there beforehand. And uh, I went over to Taylor and I just said, congratulations. I shook his hand. And that was it. That was it. That was, uh, and he was incredibly nice. I saw him talking to other people. And uh, it's hard to, to say anything that other people haven't said, especially people that knew him. And I don't feel like it's that, that I have anything to add to the conversation other than being a really big fan of his playing and his musicianship. And his musicianship went far beyond his drumming. He was a huge music fan. Listen to him talk about any of his favorite bands like Queen, his thing was about music appreciation. He just loved music. He loved other bands. He loved to play. And you can hear that and you see the great outpouring for him at this event. That's all I wanted to say today. Thanks so much for watching. If you're a first time viewer here, hit the subscribe button. If you watch a lot but haven't subscribed yet, do it now. Thanks so much.